This is Dennis Williams for part two of using Cache Map Pro to create your cache maps. You've already gone through part one. You have created your budget using cash flow, and now you're ready to begin creating your five cash maps that will demonstrate the savings you can have by keeping your dollars working 24 seven. So to get started, where the red arrow is, is your menu. You click on that. It will bring up Welcome to Cash Map. You're going to go through each of the cash maps in the order listed from one through five. So to get started, we're going to start with optimize your average daily balance. When the welcome screen comes up, you're going to press map it. You will then take the categories that you had from cash flow and now select the uh, days of the month that you plan on expensing your dollars. The goal is, is to make the line as high as possible, the higher the better, to maximize your average daily balance. We're now going to use, <clears throat> move now to use your positive cash flow. Again, you'll hit map it. And now you'll have the following options. You'll look forward over the next 15 years and see what you think your increase in income will be. You will then move to the second spot on the slider and identify how much of every raise you'll be able to keep and add to your positive cash flow. You have the option of a one-time bonus. And then you can move to future expenses. And in this example, we've got a car loan that's going to get paid off. And to show income coming in, that's increasing your positive cash flow. You're putting a negative number in front of it with the dates of when it starts and to when it will potentially end, which will be ongoing. And then the last one shows the split of whether or not you want that to go to savings versus going to your positive cash flow. You have two options. First, future expenses. You can add additional uh, future expenses to your scenario and also a third. Then here's what your cash map looks like. You can see here that, as indicated, the uh, income increases. And it shows you what your cash flow will be for each of um, each year, averaging over the next 15 years. You're now going to move to your savings. Again, you'll hit the map it. You then have the ability of using your slider to decide how much you need for your emergency fund. You then make a decision of how much you want to move to savings from your positive cash flow. And you input the interest rate as well as the current savings balance. But you also have the advantage or benefit of being able to click the little box there and do a little bit of diversified investing, be it a conservative, balanced, or aggressive savings. You put in the interest rate as well as the, the, the balance that you currently have in that category of funds. And again, here's your cash map. It shows you your growth over the next 15 years. Now we're going to move to accelerate your loan. The same idea. When you come to the welcome screen, you'll touch map it. And you'll begin inputting the information regarding the particular loan that you want to get rid of. If you click the little box there, calculate payment in principle, you'll see at the top right how it will in turn calculate what your principal balance is if you don't know it. If you do know it, don't click the box and input the current balance amount. And again, you hit map it, and here are your cash maps. This one here on the left shows the difference between what you, how quickly you can pay it off versus if you took the full 29 years. And on the right here, it actually shows you for each particular month the action that you'll be taking once a month in order mm -hmm. to move dollars from your line of credit to that loan. Here the savings, it shows when it's going to get paid off, and once the loan is paid off, we're assuming that you're going to take 90% of your positive cash flow and invest it according to the settings that you established for your, your investing profile. And it again, shows it to you month by month. This last shot here shows you the summary. Thanks again, and uh, look forward to hearing your testimonies about what you can, what you've done to keep your dollars working 24/7.